Hello my soccer universe. I thought let's look at another shirt before I get rid of the national team shirts here. And we're gonna back into the club setting where I will try to put some new shirts in here. But before we get at the shirt that you see, the Ireland shirt, it's already in the title. I One quick note on the Germany shirt that I actually completely forgot. I was talking so much about the Germany shirt. I actually forgot that, yes, this shirt it is the one with the three stars um, so that's actually really the one that they were became world champions in uh, a fourth star was added and then the, of course the world cup winners patch but i like that it, this is the one that was actually worn at the world cup that's why i like that one showing this off way too much but let's go ireland this wonderful jersey and i have the Color now fully opened. Um, I got this was my Valentine's present from my wife. We she ordered it through classic football shirts, and as you can see, there is no sponsor in front, so this is a player issue, and that's all that I ever wanted. I the reason why I didn't have an Ireland shirt so far is there was always a sponsor here and it always booked me, and I knew I needed to get a player version, and then. Uh, we saw this on sale and that's why she got it for me. Uh, it's a really gorgeous shirt. It's the one worn at Euro 2016. Um, there are just many features I have to say I like about this one. First off, uh, player issue. It is tighter fitting uh, to the point that it is very snug but I find it very comfy. Second, I think the overall pattern with I love this wonderful green. This green is just an absolutely gorgeous color and I'm putting here more in the light that you can see how gorgeous this green actually is. Uh, absolutely love it and the shadow striping comes out even more so. You see there's a sparkly glittery version and then there's a plain version. Um, if this was only, if this was not there, I think I pre would prefer the plain version, but this adds just a special something. Uh, Let's see then, the next thing is of course the color, which unlike my Italy, which I actually, I don't think I've made, made a video of a um, player issue Italy jersey um, from 2014, where the color is actually non-functional. This color is fully functional. We have buttons that can open two of them. So it opens really wide if you want to have it, but you can also shut it. Let's do that because it looks maybe a little bit better and will hold better on the hanger. Yep, there it is. And then you have the nice, uh, more professional look if you want to have. Although, note, there's no button here, so there's always a little opening. So kind of a little bit more of a, um, how to say, <laughs> non-formal look. We have a collar, which is somewhere between a polo and a rugby style color which also fits and then we have of course the orange which is the other uh, national color of Ireland. Uh, I totally love it. I totally love it. Um, could there be an improvement made? Yes. Add a green here or make green here and have orange so that it's really the flag here. That would be the perfect uh, thing but overall this color Really nice, really sturdy. And then on the inside collar, I assume that these co these are the coordinates for um, where the Aviva Stadium is. I'm not 100% sure about it. Probably would have to check that one. I also like this pattern here. Uh, I guess this is some Gaelic Celtic pattern. Um, if you know more about it, please let me know in the comments below. I would be very much interested in it. Uh, what else do we have? Let's go here. I was actually surprised, but I saw that Umbro is doing this now for a while. Most of the jerseys that I have from Umbro either have only the diamond or only the word mark. For instance, I mean the older ones have only the word mark. Um, that Brazil one, it has the word mark, so it says Umbro. I don't think I have another Umbro shirt hanging here. No, 
I actually don't. I only had an England shirt, but it's now in the laundry. So yeah, uh, that surprised me a little bit because I really was expecting only the Umbro logo, but I, I think it's fine. It looks classy. Now, the one thing is maybe the crest. Um, this New Ireland crest, I really like the one that they had in 1990 with just the clover and a circle around. The other one that was a little bit uh, used that was a little bit updated version then with uh, all the circle and the ball and so was already not that great but this one is just crazy and this one is even false color because um, the background is your yours right and they have green and all those kind of, um, and this is so the background is white and this is all in green written Ireland the best thing about it is the font of Ireland this thing here that should be a ball but there's also a little clover in there looks weird make a simple clover here you don't need to have a ball or whatever this is supposed to be it's a, it's too modernist to me um i do like the shield outline i don't understand these stripes here so this crest is maybe the one thing that i do not like that much about this shirt uh but it's all honestly a minor detail actually got to i mean the current crown has with a white background so in actual color the crest this is now kind of reverse color but the more i look at it i'm i think it looks even better this way because it is um gets a little bit more um fits better with the shirt let's put it that way it doesn't stick out as much and it has already quite some sticking out through the outline but you see this pattern quite nicely so yeah maybe it's not that bad um since the player issue it has a little it has it's supposed to have more ventilation. I was actually surprised how little ventilation it is. All it is is on the the white band that goes from the underside of the sleeves to the sides here. And then it actually stops here and there's only an orange here. And that's maybe the other thing that I find a little bit odd. Make the white go all the way down and maybe outline it with some orange or something like that. Or make an orange center stripe again for the flag. Just white this. Or just make it green and have just this. I think this would also be fine. But this is on both sides it looks a little bit odd to me uh yeah that's basically the shirt uh the sleeves are in the non-glittery green and the back is plain as i prefer it although i really like the font that they use on this island shirt note there's nothing below the collar it's a really plain wonderful shirt i'm very happy to have this one uh and we knew i mean i already did an xl then it was already sold out so we went for l yeah it's maybe a little bit tighter uh than we intended to have it but you know it's just i won't have as many euro euro brand teams and ireland is one of those it's just pretty and the green and the orange with the white it's beautiful this is a this is a really beautiful island jersey put an old crest on there and it's perfect and maybe this thing with the sides but you know minor details well let me know what you think about this jersey uh i know ireland played did they play twice in this one at the euros i want to say they played the first two games i know against sweden for sure i'm not sure against belgium probably they played against belgium in that one belgium played in their away jerseys but i'm not 100 on that one now uh, i gotta be checked but yeah uh, and I remember them getting a rather lucky draw against Austria in World Cup qualification. But yeah, uh, I always like this jersey. Literally, I always like this jersey, so I'm quite happy to have it. Again, let me know what you think about it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.